welcome to another tutorial video so in today's tutorial video we're going to use the yellow feather flower we had done initially in previous video in a herb and fascinator today if you've not yet seen the tutorial video on this flower here on my left i would advise that you go and take a look at that video before you jump onto this one because you're going to have to do your flower first before you come here to do the fascinator project with us all right i'd like to say a massive thank you if you're a subscriber of this channel it means so much to us and you've not yet subscribed to this channel i advise that you hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded let's jump right into the project for today so like i said earlier you'd need your flower prepared before you come here with us and you'd need your alice band you need a hot glue gun mine is plucked and ready to be used you need your feathers as well and um, a cutting tool so it could be a scissors and i think that's fine if anything else comes up as i work on this project i will let you know this is because i'm just going to create out of my mind whatever comes to me in the end i'm sure we are, both of us are going to be surprised by what you see but i believe it's going to be a brilliant project as always so let's get on with it before we start i'd say if you've not yet seen my other channel which is podcast with sheila the channel that has been used uh, to share positive information we used to spread positivity around the world by sharing inspiring life experiences out also advise that you take a look at it on here we've done different stories positive stories in the past our recent one which i could of course share with you is the one gentleman called henry katinda from uganda he in his video had told us that the first time he wore a pair of shoes a good pair of shoes actually the first time he ever wore shoes in his life was when he was six years old in his town in uganda um, he's the only university graduate in that town they also say that uh, the town is made up of two thousand people and he's actually the only person um, from the town who has been to the university because he didn't want the tradition to carry on with regards to education in his uh, town he decided to set up an organization to train children um, into education and to also support um, depraved children he's asking for support asking that if there are any used shoes used clothes books stationery anything beneficial to the development of a child you can reach out to him that is one of many things we do on podcast with sheila if, if you check it out you'll be able to find um whichever story suits your case or um, suits your preference because we've done different stories different stories on that podcast i think this is the first time you are doing a story where we are asking for help for our guests this is the very first time i was excited to do it because as usual i'm always passionate about women and about children so it was a great thing to do now let's get on with our project i'm going to get my glue gun started and then we um, carry on from there all right so these are the feathers i'm going to use today um the same color as the flower and i have the alice band the alice band is not in the same color as the feathers but i think it's, it's in a complementary color to the flower and of course to the gem in the center of our flower so that it's all right my glue gun is heated up i'm going to get a dollop of glue on this end and then we start working from there okay so i'm going to pick up my feathers and i'm going to be sticking them um towards the direction of the feathers okay so i'm going to just pick one after the other and then stick them all on the alice band in the same direction preferably same direction okay so i'm going to overlay them as i carry on sticking the feathers onto it all right so now that these ones have been laid of course i like the way they've been laid in the direction in which it's going i'm going to lift the feather up a little bit at about this end here at about this end here attach some glue and keep on sticking towards i'm going to stick all my feathers onto this end okay like that and i'm going to carry on sticking my feathers in that direction. sticking the feathers onto the alice band was not as fun as i thought it was going to be but on the whole it's not that bad so on i'm going to get some glue onto the feathers and then i'm going to lay that bit over down okay so i got just a dollop of glue i'm going to lift up the bit where i want to lay 
my feathers and then drop it over there okay so you basically be carrying on with feathers going in this direction i may have to do another bit i don't like this uh look over here so i'll get another one to lay again until i finish to the end and all right so this is what i have for the alice band this alone looks great but that is not the only look we're going for so this is it inside and out all of it now the next step is to figure out where we can place this flower and then we'll go for it all right so i'm just going to get some hot glue over here and just stick it to that but i'm going to first put it on my mannequin head and figure out exactly where uh, will be appropriate for it to go all right so that is what we have in the end i don't know if you can see it properly but i'm going to take proper pictures for you to see um just because of positioning of my camera i can't do much with it all right so that is what we have for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give our video a thumbs up if you've not subscribed already please do subscribe don't forget to share as well leave all your comments in the comment section below and we'll be careful to respond to them all until we meet again in our next tutorial video have a brilliant week Starships, thousands of times in do you color with crayons outside the lines? Do you have secrets?